Hello, 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 everyone! Welcome back to day three of our Maker Boot Camp. Now, today's training I am super, super excited about because this is focusing in on making a split image with sublimation. Now, Lauren, I want to say that we are going to make this as beginner friendly as possible. Yes. But there is a caveat here. This is a beginner friendly plus, like it's beginner friendly plus yeah. because if you've never sublimated before, this is not so beginner friendly, but this is beginner friendly for someone that understands what sublimation is. Once you understand what sublimation is, you can take that next step and do this process. Right. But if you're here today and you're saying, Tanner, I am brand new. I want to sublimate, but I don't even know what it is and how to do it. This is going to be a few steps above that. So yes, it's beginner friendly for our friends that already sublimate, maybe in our sublimation course, but if you are brand new and do not even know what sublimation is, first, let's talk about that just for a few minutes, and then we're gonna dive in to this amazing split image training, because let me tell you, my friends, for this project, we are focusing in on eight and a half by 11 sheets of sublimation design. A lot of you have chimed in and said to some of our projects, Tanner, I don't have a big 13 by 19 inch printer. What can I do? And this right here is our tried and true proven tutorial teaching you everything you need to know to do split image with eight and a half by 11 car, um, sublimation paper and ink. So we're super, super excited to have you all here. As you all tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. I'm Tanner Bell, the founder here at Makers Gonna Learn. To my right is our amazing producer, Lauren. She is here today. Hi guys. Yay. And this is one of those projects, like I'm so glad we're like, we're going slow today. We're, doing, we're going slow. I have a list of every step I want to make sure everyone knows. Where it's me and Tanner are in here live with you all, but we've also got Courtney on mm. comment, so she's going to be able to exactly uh, interact with you a lot more than I can doing three things back here yes, behind the camera. We love that. Um, but this is a great because we we do have so many friends that have eight and a half by eleven yes. printers, and they're like, yes. well, if this is something like. How do I do this? How do I split my images up? And this is what we are going to teach you today. What I love is that this tutorial is so practical because there's some actual struggle with getting this all lined up, but we have a few quick and easy tips and tricks to turn this from confused to flawless that are going to allow you to get great results just like this. So let's think big picture right now. Other than um, other than a bath mat, what else could, could I do? Um, an amazing blanket. You could do amazing sweatshirt. You could do um, the possibilities are truly endless when it comes to sublimation. So let's talk about what sublimation is real quick. If you're familiar with infusible ink, I get the question a lot, Tanner, what is the difference between sublimation and infusible ink? So what infusible ink is, is pretty much printed sublimation sheets, patterns that Cricut design and package for us to cut and use. That is fantastic. What sublimation really is, is giving you the access to print whatever pattern, whatever photo, whatever image you would like. And both of these apply onto polyester material or sublimation blanks, which brings us to our next point. We're giving away a huge value pack of sublimation blanks today. So stay tuned for more information on that. But what it actually is, is you're printing on sublimation paper, you are printing um, sublimation ink. And what happens is when heat is applied to that ink on that paper, you are going to see a chemical reaction of the ink turning into a um, gas and going right into your fabric. That is very different. For example, my t-shirt is screen printed. I cannot sublimate white ink on a black material. This is why screen printing is top of the line or embroidery and things like that, or HTV when it comes to a black t-shirt. Notice here, this is a white blank. White is the secret. Another way to get the workaround here is using fabric that you can bleach. So doing a poly cotton blend, 
um, which we talk all about in our Makers Gonna Sublimate course, which today is $70 off. Now, my friend, you may be here and saying, Tanner, do I take the course if I don't have a sublimation printer? Yes. Do I take the course if I do not know what sublimation is? Yes. Do I take the course if I have been sublimating for six months? Yes, because what you're getting today is 20 plus training videos, an ebook to give you everything you need to know on how to master sublimation. And on top, this is the icing on the cake, over 200 exclusive designs that you have access to as soon as you say yes to Makers Gonna Sublimate. So Lauren, I feel like I've done a great overview of trying to get people Perfect. caught up to where we're at today. Yes, and I think I think this is learning for our friends, our new friends that are yes. here. Yes, so welcome you everyone. Newbie, if you're brand new, let we, us know. Yeah, we have 350 friends Yay. with us right hello, now. Hello, hello, hello. Um, if you're a newbie and you are excited to really learn what sublimation is, drop us an emoji, let us know, yes, so we please. can see how many new people we have here with us as far as wanting to learn sublimation. Exactly, I love that. Now let's answer a few more questions that I know we're going to get asked. Now my promise with our Makers Gonna Sublimate course, which is $70 off until New Year's Eve at midnight Pacific, Stan uh, Pacific Standard Time, um, what your promise here is you're gonna save the money you invest in your course in blanks and testing things out for yourself. So what I want to encourage you to do is if you want to save money on wasting material, wasting blanks, wasting your time, say yes to the course so I can teach you the exact roadmap to get you started to making amazing projects really quickly. We've had so many great testimonials for this program. I'm super excited for you. And again, it's $70 off. So no coupon code needed, 70 off. You can say yes to Makers Gonna Sublimate today a paid in full option, or you can break it up into two payments. You can do one today, one in 30 days from now. So we're super excited. Look at all of these emojis. I know. I'm seeing all of these emojis with our newbies. The cool thing about this is we have, what'd you say, 200? 200 plus. 200 there, there could plus. be 300, but we have three alphabets, so it's over 200, but you're gonna get 200 like really unique designs and then the alphabets. So that's But let's awesome. just think about it this way. So you have, you, what is it 127 i think is what it is it's 127 today yes and you end up getting t-shirts or bath mats or mugs. whatever you need you get this. the templates lauren the te are hands down unbelievable yeah but you get these templates for free yes you can easily turn around and make that money oh 127 back at nothing oh my gosh i teach you all how to use one of our templates to take some of my wedding photos and turn it into amazing mugs I could have honestly, Lauren just gave those out as Christmas gifts and helped me, you know, save a ton on Christmas gifts, birthday yeah. gifts, housewarming gifts. Someone gets a new pet. You can make something really awesome. I mean, the possibilities with sublimation, it's super permanent. If you've ever struggled with, from a cricket standpoint to sell your items, I would argue that sublimation is going to take a lot of that burden away. And what I mean by that is after you say yes to sublimation, you're going to make some stuff for yourself and you're going to see the lifespan of that last. I mean, everything I've sublimated is such a durable thing. I have coasters that I made, gosh, six, seven months ago in my office. Yes. I'm still using them. They still look just as great as when I sublimated them um, here during a test live stream. It was during our first craft camp. They still look amazing. So I would have full faith in selling that right. within good faith. Right. Some people talk about, well, what if my customer um, doesn't take care of their material and wash it inside out on a cold setting and all of this? That is true, like people may get upset, but sublimation isn't like that. No. So that is kind of what I wanted to touch on, a perk of sublimation and why we feel like a lot of you have asked us to teach sublimation and why we wanted to bring it to our lineup because we really do love it. And now granted, you're gonna have your cost of starting of up with your printer, Yes. but if you have a, an easy press, we're you using don't, an easy press today. You don't have to have a heat press to do this. No, you do not um, have to have a, a big You don't have to have press. a mug press to do the mugs. No. You can buy. You can use a eighty dollar convection, convection oven, oven from I Walmart. I love that. <laughs> That's a great hack. I don't think I would buy the mug press again and after having the convection oven. I know because really all you can Crazy. do are mugs, but you can do tumblers in yes, the convection. So oven. many different things, and we're not having. I'm not having to wonder how many different pieces of vinyl to stock up on. Yeah. I'm just stocking up on my ink. 
Mm -hmm. I'm using it in six months. It's great. Um, so I love that. But let's talk about what you need to do today's project. Now in Makers Gonna Sublimate, we only teach you how to use free programs because we feel like you've already invested your printer, your ink, your blanks. I don't want you to have to turn around and spend more money on software. So my friends, today we're actually using Inkscape. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this project in Inkscape. I want to let you know the value of you showing up for today's training is our Inkscape presentation. This is going to be very thorough, very detailed. I'm going to teach you how to do that um, to take and cut up your image really easily. I'm going to show you the easiest way to size your rectangles, print it out, save it, do it all really. It's very simple. Yeah. Once you've done it once, you truly could do it for any design, any photo, things like that. Inkscape has some unique workarounds, but once you learn those, you are going to excel. So we're super excited for all of you at home. Um, and yes, it is so, so good. I love it, love it, love I've it. I've seen a few friends that have said something about printers. So the printer that you can use an Epson EcoTank is the we one that we use today. We love our Epson EcoTank. Yep. That's um, what we, that is literally what we use today. Right. So yeah. And it's not... It is not a special sublimation printer. It is just a regular printer that you put sublimation ink, ink yes, into. Yes, we converted it. Yes. So we converted that. And in our course, we talk about, do I want a sawgrass specific sublimation printer? Do I want to convert one myself? Do I want a 13 by 19? Do I want an eight and a half by 11? We cover all those questions and help walk with you to make that decision for yourself um, and things like that. So we're super excited. Wendy is ready. If you're ready to dive straight into our sublimation training today will you go ahead and drop ready in the comments let's see how many people are truly ready to jump over and dive in we're super excited to be here with you today and we love it is Inkscape a program we have to purchase for our computer Carolyn it is actually an open source free program yes. um, so you do download it to your computer but it's absolutely free so I would Google um, Inkscape for PC or Inkscape for Mac and you'll find the link online yay can you use the first heat press so carol um lots of carols today um i recommend the easy press two and up because the original easy press only goes to 360 degrees we're going all the way up to 400 degrees today lauren yes it's warm yeah yeah <laughs> so you have yeah, to you, need you do have to get pretty warm with some yes 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 look at all these readies I'm, all right fine. let me get my computer set up right here because we're really excited to dive in now today lauren we are using a file that is um part of our sublimation training so i just want to encourage you if you sign up today for sublimation this file right here you are going to get as part of the sublimation course so instant access today for this i also have more thorough in-depth training of inkscape so today my friend if you go come here you take the training you're like ah i'm kind of hungry for more take the course like take the course because i teach you how to do some really unique things in um, Inkscape that is specific for our sublimation. So let me just pull this out and bring in these other layers before we get to ahead of ourselves here. So, so before we get started, I'm just gonna go ahead while he's setting this up. I'm claiming this saying, today is a good day for a good day. I'm <laughs> Amen. claiming it today. I declare it, Lauren, declare yes. Declare it. I don't Ooh. know about you all, but here in Tennessee, the weather has been crazy, and it has all Affected of our, our, sinus our sinuses cavities. up and down. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. woke up with a headache, but today is a good day yes. claiming it. I love it. So step one today, what you would need to do if you are opening Inkscape for the first time. Um, first of all, we need to make sure we have the proper setting for our paper. And this right here is what your paper is. So notice there's a lot of things that can be on your mat, but this right here is actually representing um, the size of what you would save. So if you have things on your mat using Inkscape and you export it, you know, even though I have all these other layers, it's only going to export this little square, Lord. Right. So what we need to do to make sure, we'll just start a new one just for ease. We'll go to File, New, and we are going to Inkscape encountered an internal error. Okay, so that closed. Uh, this always happens when we're live. I think that's so fun. 
Um, so we're gonna go right here and we're just gonna search Inkscape and we're gonna open it right back up. So look right here, we have opened Inkscape right back up and it lets us know, you know, if we have any issues, anything like that. We can go to File, Open Recent, and we'll do Bath Map 4. Uh, okay, so look at that. So we are just going to start completely fresh again. So if we go right here to Inkscape, let's open this up. And we're just going to start completely from new so that you guys can follow along with us. We're going to, now that we have our mat, we're going to be on page and we're going to go from units. We are going to go to inches. So this is 8.5 by 11. Okay. So that's eight and a half by 11. That is our piece of cardstock because that's what we're actually printing. Okay, my friends, that is only printing. And yes, our Inkscape sublimation training is included in the sublimation course. Great question. So now next step is we need to come over here and we are going to simply take our cut file today from the zip file and you can just add it right here. So we click yes and we are going to now size this for the mat. So Lauren, let's go overhead and talk about this just so we can give a visual of what size this needs to be. So our bath mat today, which I was measuring earlier, so I can tell you the size is 15 by 23 inches. Right. So 15 by 23 inches. So what does that automatically tell us? It needs to be smaller than 15 by 23 inches. Right. So I'm going to do roughly 13 by 18 inches will be really good for our bath mat today. So we're going to size our image now to 13 by 18 inches. So that will be really good. So let's hop back over to Inkscape now that we know the size of our image. So once we have it right here, again, it's go automatically be in millimeters, anything like that. So make sure you're in inches and we're gonna do the width right here at 18 inches and our height at 13 inches. So let's just press enter and make sure that's good. So here we are. Um, our height is, our width is different. So let's make sure our width is correct. We said our width is gonna be image size. 18. Do, do, do. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So we need to make sure we have this selected. So see right here, we have this selected at image size. So now once we have that, let's go to our, um, make sure it's in inches. And I'm trying to make sure we have it selected properly. Cause sometimes, as you know, Inkscape loves to be a little funny with us. So once we have that selected, you can see the, uh, the numbers change. So if we have it selected, it's 22 by 14, but if I click off of it, it goes back to eight by 11. Um, so I'm gonna just fix this right here real fast, fix it back. You wanna make sure that it stays on that eight and a half by 11 yes. where it says page, the page yes. you're printing on. And then look what happens when I click on the layer. It's gonna go back to selection right. and we're gonna have it proper. So let's go to width and we're gonna type in 18 and then we're gonna go to hot and we decided 13 and press enter. So just like that, we are go stay at 13 inches. So there we go. You can see here, it is not wanting to change with us. So I'm gonna type in 18 and press enter. And then we're going to go over here and change it. So it's not wanting to automatically go. So I'm just gonna try to play around with it. And here, up at the top, we can change our, our width as well. Courtney, what are you saying? If you would lock this here, oh. and then change this to inches, this is gonna be the size here. This over here is for your export area. Love it, okay. Thank you for correcting me there. So our width now is going to be 18 inches up at the top by um, making sure we know that now it's automatically adjusting it to 11. 
So if I unlock this now, can I customize it? But it would distort the image, so you'll just keep it. So we're just going to keep it at 11. Right. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this right here, one thing I love about this is actually we were able to convert this to be four layers. So what I mean by that is this is actually going to be four different pieces that we're combining together. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to grab a square right here. And once we create our rectangle, we are just going to create a rectangle right here. You can, you know, make it whatever size you want right now. Um, and then what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to select it. And then we're going to unlock it and type in eight and a half. Eleven. So we're going to do 11 right here. And then we're going to do eight and a half. And then we'll press enter. You had that selected. Too. And I had both of these layers selected. So we're going to go over here and press undo. You want to make sure, do you see how we have both of these layers selected? We're going to go undo and we're going to click um, right here and make sure we unselect that and we only have this layer selected. So now we still have it unlocked. I wish I could zoom in so you guys could see this a little bit better um, at the unlock because this top bar is very similar to Cricut Design Space. So just be very familiar with that right here, okay? So now at our width, we are going to go um, 11. And then for our height, we are going oh, to- Oh, that other one. I know, it moved it again. I know. This software is funny. It yeah, is free. It's because it's free. It, this is free, y'all. This is a free program. So I just want you all to understand. We can teach you. We can teach you. It's Illustrator. Illustrator. <laughs> we can teach Illustrator, but I want to make sure that you all understand there is a free version. So yes. you just have to be ready to work a little bit. I mean, honestly, Lauren. Mm -hmm. So now that we have a beautiful square that is eight and a half by 11, which again, did take us a minute to get here. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's just one of those things. Um, you have to play around with it once you play around with it, which we do, but we still have issues with it. Well, sometimes. it just randomly closes on us, which is hilarious. But, but I mean, design space does. Design space does too. So what we're going to do is before I zoom in and we start doing kind of like the harder work, we're going to just duplicate this, uh, this little eight and a half by 11. So I just double click, I click duplicate, and then you're like, where is it? Lauren, I hate when this does this. I and know. guess where it is? It's just on top. Ta-da! And then we're gonna duplicate again. Ta-da! Where is it? There it is. And then we're gonna duplicate one more time. Okay. So we've had a lot of friends ask, why are we not using Design Space? Oh, this is a great question. A oh great my goodness. Question. And this is why we have today's training. So let's head over and let's address that. So a lot of our friends are like, whoa, we're in a whole new software. What is going on, right? So Inkscape is free, but a lot of us know that with Inkscape, um, we can do literally whatever size we want. With uh, Design Space, we're limited, my friends. We are limited to a very small print and cut um, setup. So if you wanted to not be able to do the full, the full image cut up and things like that. You know, you would never be able to cut up these images the way you need to do so. Um, and then you'd have to cut off the black squares and things like that. There's more, more steps. So that's one of the, the things with um, sublimation. You have the ability to print as large as your printer. So you have to enter into new programs. So new programs would be Inkscape, would be Illustrator, would be Canva, things like that is totally going to change up your um, flexibility and is going to allow you to do more um, for free. So does that address that main question? Yes, I think so. A lot of our friends have said that they use Affinity. Affinity is another option. But it is a paid option. Yes, a paid option. There's a lot of different um, options. Now, what I also want to say is one of the pros that I talk about in Maker's Gonna Sublimate is actually the Sawgrass printer because it is specific for sublimating which means you get a software very similar, but specific for sublimation in that program. So in the whole ecosystem of the sawgrass, like the ink cartridges, you just pop them in and things like that. Um, we've had friends ask about Photoshop. You would be able to, but with all of this, like the, the best of the best would be Illustrator because it's more of the topography. It's more of the things like that. Um, 
exporting files and you know things like that photoshop is mainly like more of a, a mock-up tool like if i wanted to you know take a picture of a family picture and take someone out and put someone else in there's those tools are more designed so um that is a great one can we do sublimation with canva yes, yes. we teach canva and i love using canva yes. for sublimation i use that a lot for my full wrap tumblers and a lot of other things like that i just so, used canva yay. for a sublimation project that i did over christmas yes oh, canva's great i love canva it's a little back pocket secret weapon you just oh, pull yeah. it out um and i love what that company stands for so mm -hmm. let's head back over here's where we're at we know what image our amazing um file is finally after the debunkle um and now we have our squares now let me tell you a thing i really like about this so lauren look with mm -hmm. me let me zoom in here yep so i'm purposely intentionally keeping all four of my rectangles where I can pull them in. Yep. I like that. But separate where you can see them. Exactly. So we're going to start in the top left corner. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to bring it down. So I'm setting this up here and that looks good, I think. So now we're going to drag in our second one. Look what Inkscape is going to do. Boom. Corner okay. to corner. We are looking for a corner to corner lineup. That gives That's me the confidence perfect. to know exactly. So now that we bring in this third one, if you weren't watching with me, come back to me, come on in, we're gonna do this again. So to our yeah. bottom layer, we're gonna drag it and look what it's gonna do. So it's gonna Pop say it. corner to corner, boom. Love that. Now we're gonna come over here. We're going to snap in our fourth one. Boom, corner to corner. I love how it snaps like that. <laughs> it snaps right in. I yes. love that. Now, my friends, I'm going to zoom out. And Lauren, this is where it gets a little tricky. Okay. Okay. So this is where we, if you are multitasking and you're really wanting to learn, get out your pen, bring, come back to us, get out yes. your pen and paper, write some notes because... Yes. I mean, it's always option. You can go watch the preview. Of course. But... There's something about writing it down. Uh -huh. This is something about following along with us that we want to make sure everyone is here. So if you're here with us listening, you know, get ready. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate everything four times. Really only three because mm -hmm. we already have one. Okay. Right. So let's select by clicking down, just like in Design Space, mm -hmm. dragging over, all of our layers are now selected. So you can actually see that all layers are selected if you see the little dotted line yes. on in, inside in our pink red boxes. Mm -hmm. you, you can, can see, see that all five are yes. selected. Yes, 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 so I love that. So what we'll do is we are gonna click, um, double click, and we're gonna click Copy, and then we can come over here and click double click paste. And then I come over here and click double click paste. And then I'm gonna put another one right over here. So I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna press paste. And I'm gonna drag this over. All right, now we have four. So I'm gonna zoom out so we can see all four. Okay, that was pretty easy. I think everyone is here. What we have done is we have copy and pasted all of the layers four times. Why you are going to do four layers is you need however many rectangles you have, that is how many layers you need to duplicate. So, so if we you have, have four. an image that has to take up six. You would have six How many duplicates. Times you, you're going to duplicate six times. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. That is a great, just remember that if you're definitely a note taker like Arlene, definitely make a note of that. Just yes. note that right there, my friends. Okay. So what we will do now is another interesting part. I'm going to start, um, oh, Carol says, how is Tanner zooming in and out? So all you do is take your two fingers on your trackpad. If you're on a Mac. If you're on a Mac and zoom in and then zoom out go to camera one and show them like just your fingers okay yes yes this so zoom is in. if you're on a if you're on this a map this would be zoom out this would be zoom in yeah zoom out zoom in okay go back we're okay. going back to but i have another i have another thing to show you so over here in the bottom right corner 
if you're not using a Mac and you may have only a um, like a regular mouse, look right here. You can press this over in the bottom right hand corner. And that it has a Z and it has the um, percentage. I could just zoom in right like this. So if you have Windows, you're going to way. the bottom corner and yeah. just manually zooming in and out. And then out. look, you can use this bar to move it over and things. So either way, that's a great one. I love being able to explain everything for everyone. That's a great tip. Thank you. Um, so what we're going to do now is for each one, we only now need one square per layer. So we're going to select, we're going to leave this top left square and I'm going to delete the top right square. I'm going to delete the top bottom square. I'm the going to bottom, the, not yeah, the, the top bo bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deleting any other square. Yes. That is step one. Now I'm coming over here to my second one and I'm deleting the top one. I'm deleting this one. And the way you delete a layer is you take your mouse, make sure it's on your cursor tool. The cursor tool looks just like your mouse. You would select it from the left toolbar. You would then take that, select your layer, and you press delete. Or backspace for Or videos. backspace, yeah, either button. That's yep. a great tip too. So now here's what we're looking like. Let me zoom out a little. So this is what we're looking like. Looks a little like, what are we doing? You're getting confused. I totally understand. So now, but you've got to trust the process. So again, delete this one, delete this one, You're delete, delete this one, okay. and then this one, we're going to delete this one, this one, and this one. All right. So if you are a note taker, I would recommend to actually screenshot this mat right here. Yes. So just take a picture of your screen, take a picture here, because now what we have done is we have made sure, Lauren, that these rectangles are precisely positioned. Mm -hmm. They are perfectly laid out mm -hmm. and it's gonna be very easy. All right, guys, very easy for this part of the process. So now that you're here, what we're going to do is we're now going to select both layers. So I'm actually gonna zoom in right here to this and I'm going to select both of these layers, okay? So drag, so yeah, you can see the rectangle around it and when uh -huh. I release my mouse, it gives me that outline again, which right. I love. So we are actually going to go up at the top and this will be the same for PC as well. Um, and we're gonna select object. Once we have select object, come down here to clip and we are going to click set. Now again, if you are a screen taking note taker like myself, screenshot this real quick. Just screenshot it so you don't forget where it is, okay? You're not gonna forget where it is. I want you to remember this and make sure you take it in. Becky says, this is great. I've never used this program before. Becky, we know a lot of you have not, so we wanna make sure it's thorough, we're on point, mm -hmm. and it is really great. So now that we're on clip set, we are going to click set. Look at that. I didn't even have to delete out my extra layers. It did it for you. Thank you, Inkscape. Thank yes. you, Inkscape. Yes. So Catherine says, do not think this newbie is ready for sublimation. So Catherine, I did give a disclaimer earlier that this is not a beginner sublimation tutorial if you do not know what sublimation is. This is for our friends that are using sublimation and still feel like a beginner, but they know what sublimation is. They have a printer and things like that. If you are still so new to sublimation, you're not sure what it is and how to do it, I would recommend getting the course and walking with us from step one. This is something just so many people have asked for that I want to make sure we hit home today in this training. So yay, I love it. Just became a member. Go D, love it. Welcome. Yes, our year membership is also on sale today. Um, so many people said yes yesterday. So congratulations to both of you. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this step three more times and I'm going to walk with you for each layer so that you all can really get it. So let's hop back over and we're going to go just layer by layer, Lauren. I mean, this really isn't that hard. Like, I, I mean, once you understand um, what sublimation is, um, 
this program is a lot, I mean, it's a lot, obviously a lot different than design space. Yes. But any other, um, whether it be, now obviously Illustrator is a lot better, but as far as the way that it is set up, that, yeah. it still looks similar. And that's why I don't ever discourage someone starting on Inkscape. Because it's free. It is free. And what Lauren is saying is so true. You, the skills and the tools are almost in the same place. Right. So you're not going to do yourself a discredit by starting an Inkscape. No. Not at all. And, not and at it'll all. make you feel once you are ready to take the next step and actually pay for a program, it's yes. not going to make you feel so overwhelmed that you just quit. You just correct. leave it alone. Correct, correct. And here at boot camp, like, let me, I, I wanted to make sure a lot of these projects were wowing this time around mm -hmm. as they always, you know, definitely are. Um, but instead of just teaching some basics, we wanted to make sure we elevate y'all in a really great way. So just stick with us. We are going to walk real slow. And again, we are just going to select both of these layers. We're going to see one thing, unlike design space, Lauren, if you notice, it didn't select both today because I didn't go wide All enough. All the way out. If you go just like inside, which still touches the layer, it doesn't you have think, to go all the way to the corner. Yeah, all the way. It has to fully go in. But now I see that. And we can go to object. Once again, take a screenshot if you did not while ago. Yes, object, object clip, clip, set. set. Or write that on your notes. Yeah, write object, that down. Object, arrow, clip, arrow, yes. set. Yes. So down here. Look, we'll do it again together. We got to select both of these big and wide. Look at that. Now we're going to click object, clip, and set. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So click it. Boom. So basically what this is, it's similar to the slice tool. It is. In Cricut Design Space. Yes, we're, we're slicing We're slicing. Out. This is what we're doing. We are slicing. I love that. Okay, object, clip, and set. Object, clip, and set. All right, y'all. We've made it. We, we made it. We are here. Y'all did it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring all these in, and we're going to talk about next steps, okay? So next steps are pretty fun. And this is why we have not gotten rid of this little white rectangle. Correct, correct, correct. So we actually are going to now press shift. And I need to rotate this image. Um, can I do it this way? Ta-da! Look at that. There's a rotate button. Yep. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Can you, Okay, can you rotate the white piece of paper? So I actually could. I would just change the settings um, a little bit. I would, I would just change the height and the, yeah. the width, which is fine. I can just show the rotating. So this right here um, is very easy. We're just going to set this up. You got real close on that finger. I did get really close on this. Oh, my word. I, I use like every square. You you did. Yeah. So that would be, <laughs> that would be so, something great to talk about. Right. And there's, with this specific design, something that you all could do that I noticed, but I didn't want to interrupt. I know. I noticed it too. I should have. Lining up with the different colors on the lines <gasps> Ooh, would have made it, I think maybe made it a little easier. I love that. I love that. So now that we've got it right here, you've set it up on the mat. What you're going to do is you're just going to change where it says file name. We're going to change this and we're going to title it um, Bath Mat Tanner 1. So April asked, what does the white rectangle represent? That represents Our piece your of paper. piece of paper. Yes. So your piece of paper is right there. Yes, you do want to start from the beginning if you are just now tuning in for the first time. Okay. Yes. Um, go back, scroll back watch later, e either way, like we love it. Um, so now we would click export, or we could click export as. If we click export as, we can pick exactly where we're gonna put it. So we're gonna put it in, say documents, we're gonna save it as a PNG. Please save that as a PNG, my friends. Um, so now that we know it's a PNG, we are gonna click save. 
and we're gonna click save. So there you go. Now you're gonna move this one out off of the mat because that represents our watt. Right, so it is basically just saving what is inside that watt. Yes, so now we rotate this over, drag it down. Okay, so just moving this over, dragging it down, just like so. Position it right here, because this is how it will print. We are going to now go ahead and move it from bath mat one to bath mat two. Now we will select export as, and we are going to leave it bath mat two under documents as a PNG. A so we had people ask what a PNG is and why save it as a PNG. So it's a portable network graphic and PNG is like industry standard right. when it comes to you know, digital images and things like that. A sub sublimation paper, we love it. So like when you are saving a, a picture that you've taken, you save it normally as a JPEG because that yes. is the industry standard for a photo. Yes. But this when you are more... printing a graphic, yes, you're wanting exactly. to save it as a PNG, which is the portable network graphic. Yes. So look at that, Lauren, save. And then I'm gonna open all these for you here in a moment so you can visually see what happens. Um, don't worry, like I totally am gonna go do that. And then I'm just gonna scroll over here, find our next layer, drag it over, look. Don't even have to flip this one. Ta-da. And then we're going to unselect, and we're gonna move from bath mat two to bath mat three, and we're gonna select export as. Again, portable network graphic. So documents. the Same. reason we are doing export as instead of export is because when we do export as, I we, gotta know where it's going. We, we know exactly where it's going and we know exactly what format it is going. Exactly. Because it says PNG, but I really just want to know where, where this files go end up, y'all. And then look, this is our fourth layer. Super easy. So we're going to change that from three. We're going to change that to four and we're going to click export as and there we go and save now lauren let's go over to the fonder and we're going to go down here to um wherever it's courtney's. in recents it's right there oh perfect no that's not the that right was one courtney's mm -hmm. so normally computers have documents just but courtney's is special i would just do a search let's see here i did top in tanner oh here we well I want to find documents. So documents. Let's see if I can find this folder. That is so funny. Look at all these files. Courtney, come on. So if I type in Tanner. All right. And where is my bath mat at? Dun, 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 dun. So let's just pretend, I guess, if I cannot find where these have saved to. I need to find her documents. Just so everyone knows, Tanner is using Courtney's computer <laughs> right now, and her computer is set up different. It's so crazy how you get so used to what you're doing on your own computer and then moving over to someone else's. Why don't you just try resaving it again and see if we can like save it under the... Um... You know what? What if I just search for the file? Bath mat dash Tanner. Look at this. Do, do, do. Let me search this Mac. Ta da! And I found it. There we it. go. So we're just going to select all four and we're going to open these up. And then here is how our images have been saved. So look at this. So what we've got right here is we have our files and you can go through and you can see all four of our layers. So this is what it saved as, y'all. Is this not so interesting mm -hmm. that this is how it, all four have saved? And now here's another, here's another reason why you need the course. Because let me go ahead and let me share with you why you need the course. So let's go back to the main camera. 
after you have exported your images, there's actually a few other steps that you need to take. You need to have, what I personally love to do with sublimation is set up the printer driver for my specific Epson onto the computer. That's what I love to do. I love to automatically set it as a preset to know that I need to mirror it, that I have the best image quality set, that I know what color codes I want to use. There's a few extra steps that you can take and set it up once, and then it's going to automatically know every single time you do it. I don't have enough time in today's training because today we're focused in on splitting the image up. But if you take the course, if you say yes today, you're saving $70, I'll teach you how to set up your printer driver and pick your favorite settings and preview and things like that, that we have done. And it's gonna be awesome. Like yes. it is gonna be absolutely fantastic. So does everyone understand? And I know if you tuned in even five minutes after I did the setting up the watt square yeah. originally, Inkscape is very different than other programs. So whatever is on your watt piece of your watt rectangle, your watt square, this represents your eight and a half by 11 sheet. So that's why after we had been able to clip set that um, and take those images, bring it in, export it, that's why it looks like it does here in preview. So what you would do next is you would actually make sure to have that mirrored because this is like HTV. You're going to put it down and then look at it this way. So that has to be always be mirrored. That's very important. Um, I'm trying to think anything else. Make sure it's on great printer settings. Make sure to set up your sublimation printer correctly. Again, it's all outlined in the course. I'll, I'll never be able to make a YouTube video as thorough as the course. There's reasons why you invest in programs like that. So I just want to encourage you, you will save the amount of money you invest in the program and just saving you time, energy, and money. Um, so that's awesome. So yay, I love it. Oh yes, Maker's gonna celebrate, can walk you through so you can be can successful from the start, worth yes. the cost. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So glad I got the sublimation course, I really need your help. Patty, those videos are self-paced, they're pre-recorded, you pause it, you do it, and you rock it. Do you have to mirror to print? Yes. So you can mirror in Inkscape before you export, but that would be an additional step. Mm -hmm. But how I personally love to do it is set it up as a preset um, in preview. That's kind of like my, that's my, my favorite way. And I think it'll be your favorite way too. And if there's any way in business and personal loft, craft loft that I can automate something, I highly recommend to automate it. Yeah. So that's why I do that. I have always the same settings for the right printer I'm using. Wow. So I love that. It's my little my little secret hack that you get only in the course. So I love that. So yay. Um, Jessica, email customer care. We'll take care of you. Um, if you're scared to sublimate, can we, ad let's address that. How yes. many friends do we have hanging out with us today? We have 411 right now. Hello. It's kind of been up and down. Um, that's but okay. we've got right now we've got 411. That's awesome. Well, let me tell you, if you were scared to sublimate, my question would be, why? Like, <laughs> because there's a lot of software things in sublimation, but the act of sublimating it's is so very easy. straightforward. Yes. Very straightforward. Lauren, we're not having to weed anything. Nope. We're not having to worry about our, it, we're worrying, instead of worrying about our blade and the cut pressure, worrying about our printer settings. Yep. So we, we're doing the same amount of energy. Like your energy is the same. The energy uh -huh. you invest in weeding, the energy you invest in selecting material settings, the energy you invest in testing things out and having a print error and, and making sure the cut deep enough and things like that, you're going to have that same exact, I would, I would honestly argue they're probably about the same. If you love cricketing, you will probably love sublimating, but it'll be showing up in a new way. What I think a lot of cricketers expect is they're like, oh, I've been cricketing for three years. I'm going to do sublimation and I'm going to know everything about it. Mm -hmm. Don't no. expect that for yourself. Walk into it saying, hey, I'm going to learn something brand new. I'm going to treat myself and give myself the same grace that I would give myself if I was a cricket beginner again. <clears throat> because think about all the things you've learned after using your cricket. You've got to show up with that same excitement, the same fun, and be ready for even better, even better quality projects. Like uh -huh. that's, that's what I'm excited for you all to 
to to rock like you're gonna get better quality pro uh, projects so yes. yay i love it yes the software part is frustrating confusing and overwhelming that's why the course is there so you can see what programs we use when i don't even want to say that you know our training is amazing but when you see when i use canva versus when I use Inkscape, mm -hmm. I think there will be a lot of breakthrough moments for you to know what program to go to when. Because there's some things that I think a lot of you would assume I do in using Inkscape when I really can just put it in Canva real and quick. Be done. Real quick. Yeah. So that's that's what I wanted to just share and because there is a lot of different information online and things like that. So we wanted to make sure we had to, you know, be here to share and help. So my fear comes from actually committing to changing a printer to a sublimation printer. I just want to be sure I pick the right printer. Julie, take the course. Yes. I have a video that answers every question. Um, most, most questions, I'm not going to say every, a lot of questions um, and rock it. So that's what we absolutely love and yay. Jenny, how do you organize your files? Do you sort according to type, source, or use? So we really only use Makers Gonna Learn files here, and we have probably, I don't know, six or seven computers in the office. So the best way to do it, this is gonna sound so silly, I just go to the website and re-download it. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, I mean, I do too. <laughs> I mean, th that's the main way to do it. Now, sublimation files, what a perk of going sublimation course before I, I'm going to get off with my tangent of why the sublimation course is so important. I just know that there's only so much time that I can talk about sublimation because most of our day here is spent teaching cricket. Uh -huh. um, that's a big part of why I recommend the course. But in that, um, I totally lost my train of thought. I was talking about files. Oh, when you take the sublimation course, all of the files that you get, the 200 plus we talk about, is organized for you um, in a zip file. Mm -hmm. So you download one folder and you have all 200 already organized and like there in just one folder for you. So that's pretty, yes. that's super, super fun. So yay, I love it. Right, okay. Now what you would do is you would go through and print this out. And here is what it will print as. So you can see, if we want to go overhead now, we can go overhead. That will be really good <clears throat> so we already have printed this out for i mean yes. because it took us a little while to get it printed now when you're using the eco tanks lauren just like yesterday's project uh -huh. buckle up yep. like just slow down to take a yep. walk this is what we're going to do so you'll have your four layers we're going to actually do a task using two different elements i have a paper trimmer and i have a pair of scissors we need to for most of these layers trim here and trim here now i want to give you a little piece of advice the ink is right here lauren the ink is right here mm -hmm. if i scratch this yes i'm gonna be able to see it you have to be careful this is a careful tom careful tom there's other paper trimmers you could use to to protect better but we're not about that and i'm gonna show you we used we had a great result this is my great result right here that we used with this paper trimmer that was less than $12. Uh -huh. So you can do that today right here and we love it. Um, after sublo sell on sublimation, can we still do a split payment? Cheryl, I'm not sure if we're continuing payment plans into 2022. I cannot confirm or deny. So that's a great question. And we use free Canva. It's awesome. Um, Pro Canva is even better, but you know, whichever one you want to use. So, I do think with Canva, if you plan on using background remover, I think you have to go pro. Yes, the background remover is there, but you don't need it in every no, sublimation you don't need instance. It, no, not at all. And the only reason I say that is because with that, with the sublimation um, project that I did over Christmas. Oh, did you get to use the I, background remover tool? I had to use Ooh. the background remover tool, yes. I love that. So now I'm just trimming this out, and I just want you to see that why I like this paper trimmer is like I'm cutting down here and then I can stop it and say okay is the line you know close enough is the line too much I can go through and cut that right here and then you can see now I have my I have one squared perfectly and it doesn't you know it didn't scratch any of that so I just want to let you all know there's no scratching the ink and things like that when if you're careful so we're just going to repeat that to our other layers 
Oh, if you did not know about scratching the ink, like, that's why they don't recommend you to touch it. Mm -hmm. And, like, if there's debris on your paper, like a piece of glitter or something, mm -hmm. you have to get that off, too. So. so it's very important where you place your fingers. Um, Notice I'm being very careful. Very cautious um, for when you are cutting this. And this yes. is very important with if you are having to piece things together. Yeah, for sure. So we are just being careful, lining this up. Ava, no, Canva is can be used with uh, Windows. That's actually how I taught myself. So I was a Windows user um, up until I started working <laughs> with Maker's Gonna Learn. And we threw I've you been, a mat. I've been a Windows user um, since I was, uh, I mean, in middle school. Like yeah. I've only ever used Windows. Um, so me learning Mac has been completely different, but it is, it's, compatible with both softwares yes there's a iphone app and a what desktop so yes. either way and the iphone app is like um and i love it yeah it's i really love cool. it it's very neat so say here look at this so you can see i didn't perfectly do it this is when i take my pair of scissors and get in here and like make sure i you know trim this out just a hair hair here and a hair there so bell says um rip so you don't have harsh lines i actually tried that on my other one and it worked so like really really good with this obviously you can't rip but like if you right. end up sublimating and you see that you are having like harsh lines around your edges it it really depends on what you press it on and sublimate on but i have had there have been projects where i see people have the harsh lines around yeah. where the paper is and that rip worked for me. I, I love that. One of our members suggested and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. try it. And it worked, cause, cause the first one I did, it did have the harsh lines and Ooh. then I ripped it. It was Ooh. great. I love that. I love that we learn, you all are here and it's like, you all are here to learn from us, but we learn from you all oh, just as yeah. much. That is so true. So notice that we just took those edges, we trimmed them precisely off like we just taped it around. And now what we're going to do, here's what we're gonna do now, y'all. Here's what we're gonna do now. So let's move our paper trimmer. Now you take your four layers that you've got here. Here go, you know, kind of set this up. Oh, do I need to cut one more? I think I need, I need to cut this edge. <laughs> I need to cut yeah. this edge right here. <laughs> got too busy talking, you know me. Um, so we're gonna fix this one right here. Love it. And then look, I need to chomp off this T so we can go right here. Love that. Okay. It's a very, very complex. Not complex, but it's like a it's tedious. A yeah. Tedious. That's the word. But, but Lauren, I feel like a lot of our friends here really. Love oh, I tedious. love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, they love the tediousness. Okay, so this is backwards. It's so. nope, the, the top of yep, the fingers go. go on top of the hand. I was like, where <laughs> am I going wrong here? Your fingers go on top of the hand. I was getting my colors, like I was following the colors rather than the, yeah. um, rather than anything else. So I'm taking just some of this excess off, making sure it's all cleaned up. Okay, okay. So, taking all the debris away, and then we're about to sublimate. So, once you have it lined up here, you just line Look it up. Look how perfect that goes together. Right? It's crazy. I wish we could snap in real life like Inkscape snaps together. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing, Lauren. You need to invent it. Yeah, I know. Yes, I mean, you can play around with Inkscape. Rosalie asked, can someone play around in Inkscape without having a subprinter to practice? Yes. Absolutely. The, that would be better. Mm -hmm. Like, do that. Play around with your different programmings. Make different things. Um, or not, I mean, just play around with it before getting that to see if yes. it's going to be right for you. Um, for I, sure. Please I mean, sublimation that. is absolutely amazing. But I'm not going to sit here and say that it's, right it is like perfect thing for everybody correct, correct you correct. find your niche and you get good at that yes 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 okay so we've taped these two together lauren uh-huh now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna tape these two together look at that 
Look at Perfect. that. Perfect. And it's another no. very important thing. You do not tape over your ink. Yes, tape notice in I'm between. Not, yes, please do that. Please, please, please. Please, please, please be careful. Okay. So I'm just going to line this up here, making sure it's all lined up. Cindy asked, um, she says she's driving and she's not supposed to be watching videos, but she's not, <laughs> um, but she's listening. She's asked, but do you teach how to do this in your sublimation class? If you do, sign me up, I'm all in. We do teach you this and so much more in our sublimation class. Yes, you're gonna learn. And this so is also things. something you can rewatch once you're done driving. Yes, please rewatch this because it's such a great one. Um, there's so much more that we teach in the class too. Like, yes. like there's so many more like um, cornerstone pieces of the tutorial that you need uh -huh. of like how we got this image to print exactly how the image was. I think a lot of people's number one concern here is getting great print quality. So right. print quality is number one when you're in this game because there's a lot of possibilities to go wrong and things like that. So you want to be very careful. So yes, we are using heat tape for those who yes. have been asking. Yeah. Oh, this is my heat resistant tape. This is the secret weapon to sublimation. Uh -huh. This is the secret weapon of putting the puzzle back together like Wendy just said. And it's just slow and tedious. And I think a lot of you will have a lot of fun with this. Look at this. Wow. 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 <laughs> I'm loving it. I know. I'm but you're, it. you're, wow. I mean, I'm impressed. <laughs> I love this. Yes, classes never expire. Once you um, have purchased, purchased access, a course, friend. lifetime access. Love that. Lifetime access. And, the, and that's even, even with our um, cut files, if you are a member or if you are wanting to become a member or on the fence about becoming a member, um, one, and you download one of our cut files, if you decide, you know, you've been a member with us for, you know, a couple years or whatever, and for some reason, maybe you got out of cricketing or maybe it just wasn't in Your the cards for you of, that year. A lot of people's job change it. You know, job yeah. shifts for time period, things like that. But you get to keep those cut files that you download. Yes, exactly, exactly. So that is the good part. And uh, the difference with our membership and a lot of other memberships. Yes, a lot. Cricket Access, you lose, literally lose access to your files once you cancel. Um, yes, Tammy. In the same way with Netflix and things like that. Once too. you purchase the course, you, you will have access to it, I mean, whenever, yes. all the time. Yes, it's yes. So once Love you that. purchase so the sublimation course, even if you aren't a member, you still have access to that sublimation oh, yeah. course. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I either need to trim down this piece over here or... Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, mm. So correct me if I'm wrong, but our tape dispenser, we just spray painted, right? Because uh, some... We did do that, yes. Yeah, this is just a... Did we get it from Walmart or somewhere? Um, I believe Amazon. I so this is, we, we just ordered, this is just a t regular or a, a tape dispenser and we didn't like the um, the color of it. Yeah, it was very like businessy. So uh, we spray painted it. Yeah. Just like we're, <laughs> we spray painted the handles of our totes that we're yes. using because we didn't like the color of them. So we yes. spray painted them pink. That is true, that is true. <laughs> okay. So this is where you can get a little bit more particular with tape if you feel like you need to um, and things like that. You do have to be able to pick this up and lay it down. So you want to make sure that you can move it around. So like I really think I want to put a piece of tape right here and see if it'll fit, but it might not. So what I'm going to do is cut this down a little, cut this down just a hair. And I'm going to take this little bitty piece. And then what I'm going to do. Oh, Courtney just dropped the link to the dispenser for yay, you all. Thanks, Court. Look at that, I've added another little piece of tape. That's very helpful. You could add another piece if you want. Um, Lauren, is there any questions about this process? I feel like it's easier It's an easier scene than like tried to talk through. Yes, so how, someone, how do we, how do, I guess you line up image to iron it on? This. So what we're doing is we're using heat resistant tape to tape all of these. Yeah. We use an eight and a half by 11 paper. Mm -hmm. um, and we did this because a lot of our friends do have the smaller printers and we wanted to show you all how to yes. piece together a large image 
with a smaller printer. Exactly. So we are taping it and piecing it together <clears throat> with heat resistant tape. Yes. So now what you can do, so now Lauren, we get to decide, do we want to use this one? Or so we had our team prep this one and we ended up taking this from six layers down to four. Yes. Um, because so this it is was... the one we prepped. So which one do we want to use today? I don't I know. I say we do the one we've been doing. Uh, okay. I mean, it, it, they both look amazing. So right. the next step is I like to, so what Lauren was talking about was kind of taking these edges and ripping them. Yes. Um, I'm just going to cut them because we cut these and you can't tell. Yeah, and there's some, some material. Yes. Can you explain there's some material? What material? There, I think t a lot of people have issues with t-shirts. Yeah. That are there certain t-shirt materials when that you use end that up heat having, press. yeah, that end up having the harsh lines um which the one that the material that i use is actually i didn't use it for this sublimation to stay on the sublimation ink to stay on there anyway right. so the harsh lines really didn't matter i just wanted to see if it worked sure um but um yeah no the ripping i I, like I said, a lot of people have issues with the t-shirt, but this bath mat is padded. Yes. So now it doesn't, reason... it's not so hard on it. Mm -hmm. So we haven't had any issues with the harsh lines on it yet. Now let's talk about the reason why I'm taping or why I'm cutting. I want to get a great placement, Lauren. And sometimes when uh -huh. I don't have a good outline, I won't be able to place it properly. But a lot of friends are gonna be like, oh, just go ahead and place it down. No, it is not time. To place this image yet it is not what we have to do now is the next step of our process is make sure our heat press is on and we have to prepare our bath mat so we're going to grab our lint roller today i'm going to just go ahead and lint roll this just go ahead and lint roll this real good oh somebody asked and i don't know that we it was about the butcher paper so that's going to be a really good it's an important step um Oh, we're about there. We're about to yes. butcher paper, Tom. But she said that she went to go buy butcher's paper Ooh. and they only had the pink butcher's paper and she wasn't sure if the pink would transfer during the heating process. I don't think it would, but I wouldn't it think would. we've not ever we've had never, we've never, never ran seen. into that issue. I, guys, I've been using the I'm about I'm almost out. I'm almost out of my butcher's paper. Is that not crazy? No, nope, we're on one. <laughs> I'm almost out of my butcher's paper. Can y'all believe that? Can y'all believe that? Listen, um, I mean, it might have to be something we test out. We might have to. So I just went ahead, lint rolled this bad boy. Okay. We are preheating our Easy Press, so we do have a second to take a little, a little Q and A. Um, yes. Do you all have any, any questions? Anything that you all need to know? This is a great time of the live stream where we will announce. We're saying someone's reporting the pink wheel transfer. Um, uh huh. What I want to let you all know is our winner of yesterday's giveaway. Yesterday's giveaway is winning a case fan handbag, and we're so excited. All you have to do is enter to win one of the numerous ways that you're able to enter to win. You can comment on this video. Uh, you can be sure to subscribe to our SMS, so our text message alerts that we send every now and again. Um, not many at all, but usually about a new video. Um, so that's all you do to enter. This is just a great way to enjoy our boot camp, and we love it. So. Miss Lauren has the winner. Drum roll, do, 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 please. Do, do, do. The lady. winner. Hi, my children. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the winner for the Kate Spade handbag Ooh. is Miss Deborah Hodge. Go, Deborah Hodge. Congratulations, Deborah. I love it. Congratulations, Deborah. You won our Kate Spade handbag. So that is amazing. Now, if you're interested in winning something else, today we're actually giving away a sublimation blank haul. So what we're gonna do is order you, it's um, approximately $75 worth of value. Um, if you just enter to win, whether it's SMS, whether it's comments, anything like that, you'll be entered to win. So Miss Deborah, be sure to send us your best shipping address. Thank you so much for being part yes. of boot camp here, uh, winning day two's giveaway prize. We have amazing giveaways still to give away on Thursday and of course Friday mm -hmm. we have live giveaways which means we are picking live so you have until tomorrow to enter um today's for the sublimation prize but you need to get in quick so we're super excited so yes I've lint rolled this um we can go back overhead if you want I'm gonna make sure so we did have a friend while you're doing that asking why is it mirrored so the reason that we are when we do sublimation it has to be mirrored is because we turn it upside down 
yep. to transfer it onto our blank. Yes. So that's why, just like with heat transfer vinyl, yes. you have to mirror your heat transfer vinyl. We are mirroring this because it is going to be turned upside down and placed on top of our blank before exactly. we heat it. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we'll just place this down right here and we'll just go position it. Make sure we're super, super happy with it. So a lot of our sublimation blanks that we find are on Amazon. Yeah, and, and not all sublimation blank companies are made the same. So just be mindful of the reviews, read them very thoroughly, uh, make sure you've got great, you know, make sure there's some great reviews to support you, you know what I mean? Right. And there was another question. Um, what is the sublimation spray that some people use? So that is just, if, and you, why don't you go ahead and explain what that is? So let's talk about sublimation spray because it is such a hot topic here at our office and with crafters across the world. And we just had someone say, have you tried sublimation spray for cotton? <laughs> so that is actually available in our course. I compare three different ways to sublimate cotton and the results are very surprising. I want to just encourage you to take the training. Um, but the exact question was, are they asking what it is and have I tried it? I have tried the sublimation spray. I've tried the spray for you. It's not my favorite. Um, there are ways to make it great, um, but mm -hmm. it is additional steps. There's more There's more trial and error for sure. Um, getting it to dry, how many layers, things like that. Um, but that will allow you to sublimate on cotton. But we have some really unique workarounds today that you can actually do um, to sublimate on cotton. So again, you might want to question, you know, do I want to sublimate on cotton? I don't recommend sublimating on cotton near as much as I would a sublimation blank and things like that. So yeah. Cheryl says the spray was not great for me. Yeah, if you lower your expectation, which I never like to do, uh -huh. um, you can do it. But why would we lower such it's a high possible. expectation? It's possible. It is possible. That's it's a great It's possible. Day. But do you get the best quality? No. No. No, no, no. Not so we all. also had a couple of people ask how they can join the text messaging. I'm going to drop thank that you. link. Thank you. Thank you. Let me find it. While she does that, um, would you make projects this big to sell? Seems time consuming. April, I would probably, if you're going to make projects this big to sell, I would get a 13 by 19 printer and that would probably solve a lot of your problems. Um, okay. So. We're gonna take this right here, butcher's paper always on top, as you all know. This will be four hits. This will be four hits right here. So we're just gonna hit heat this four times, um, following pretty much the same corners, and we're gonna be very careful. So we're gonna start down here in the bottom right. We're doing 60 seconds per corner. And it's very important that you do not move. Like once you, this has been done pressing and you do need to apply pressure, yes. just pick it straight up don't scoot it because I've, yeah. ha I've had there's been issues <laughs> pick it straight up yeah and then move it and yep. drop back down yep 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 um if you oh yay thanks charlotte will the sublimation on the bath mat fade after use and washing no 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 not at all no. not at all so you love it um, have you sublimated on vinyl so it can be put on darker items? Carolyn, so yes, I have sublimated on vinyl, but here's the deal. Here's the deal. Why would we sublimate on something, then put it, sublim if we sublimate on, thank you, Sin. Yeah, I if just, we, it's, it's in like very <laughs> tiny letters it's on okay. here. If we, so here's the question. If we're going to sublimate on vinyl, and then we have already decided that the vinyl is not going to be near as permanent. I run into a question. I ask myself, why are we doing it? Like, you know what I'm saying, Lauren? Yeah. Why would we, then we would run into the same issue of mm -hmm. just putting regular heat transfer vinyl. Now there are projects that you're going to say, Tanner, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with, you know, risking the vinyl. Right. Because I can have my own pattern. Right. And things like that. So that's fine. But I like to ask myself. No, the ink too. will not come off on your feet when wet. Not at all. No. 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 no, 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 no. So, so what sublimation, if you've missed, um, he, if you missed Tanner's kind of expl explanation about what sublimation, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful, yes. about what it is. So the ink, when it is, when you use that heat press and it heats it up and it does have to be at a fairly high heat 400 degrees 400 degrees is top yes i mean it's a lot so you have it 
turns that ink into a chemical or into a gas, yes. and then that gas adheres to the fibers, um, like the poly fibers, any of those poly rayon blend, um, not cotton, it has to be a synthetic fiber. Yes. And yes, that yes. adheres to those synthetic fibers. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. then it stays and it doesn't love go anywhere. It. Love it, love it, love it. Is butcher's paper comparable to freezer paper? No. Butcher's paper is in its own area. Yes. This will not work with parchment. This will not work with freezer. So freezer and parchment have like a waxy layer on them. Yeah. You cannot use that. Now, Lauren, you were, you were, you were raised, I feel like, very different than me. Please answer me this. Did our families, me and Lauren grew up very close together, which will be a yes. story for one day. Yes, we'll um, have to tell you all that story. <laughs> we grew up so close together, so close together, yet didn't know each other yet so far away. until I started working with you. I mean, I knew of you. Yeah, same. Um, but, okay, back to the question. So, is people really supposed to use butcher's paper to, like, wrap up meat? Like, I feel like that's something like, if someone killed a deer. Oh, yeah, I we've had... We've had, I've taken, we've taken plenty of beefs to a uh, yeah. packing house and they've, we've come back with them wrapped in butcher paper, paper and masking tape. Oh! Yeah. Okay, I thought my mamma would have used it. Yeah. I figured. Good to know. But I mean, anymore, they don't do that anymore. A lot of it is now uh, vacuum, vacuum seal. Yeah, vacuum, vacuum seal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Subtle made on wood on top of polyacrylic. Any safe hacks? Thinking corn, corn hole, hole boards. boards. That's what, yeah. <gasps> I want to make a sublimation cornhole. on wood cornhole board. Nani, you just you gave got us, us going. Yes, ma'am. I think we need, okay, Lauren's gonna kill me. I think we need office uh, <laughs> hoverboards. <laughs> No, nope, like, I'm not gonna kill you because I, I love office hoverboards. hoverboards. The kids <laughs> should not get all the fun. Um, anyway, we could get office cornhole boards. I mean, not that I. I love it. playing cornhole. Do you? Yeah, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll school you, and then I'll teach you. <laughs> um, anyway, I would love to be able to do that. So that is awesome. Um, hey, and we can even, if you all are not afraid to use power tools, like we could even teach you. We, we taught should, them how to build their own before. On their own cornhole boards. Yes, at a summit. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 <gasps> Dun, 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 let's, dun, dun. let's go back overhead so we're we can let it see cool the big reveal. We're gonna let it cool for a second. I'm gonna peek it because I need to see first. Yeah. I need to see first. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 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 ooh. This looks really good. So we've had people. Um, can you sublimate on wood? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. So yes, 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 yes. You can sublimate on wood. It is amazing. I love the look of it. It's very good. You're gonna love it. it we have corner boards. I love it. Be careful about butcher's paper, not freezer paper. Yes. Be, be sure uh -huh. to know the difference. Uh, so that's awesome. I love it. Hmm. I've used uh, parchment with sublimation without problems. The butcher's paper actually is going to pull out any moisture um, comparatively to parchment does not. So there's there's some things that the butcher's paper actually does. Yeah. So, I mean, if you you've not had out. any issues using parchment, I mean... We just, we suggest, I'm yeah. going to go back overhead we'll so whether you can see the, they see the Yay. reveal. Y'all look at this. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Like, you, so you can see the line here, but it goes away. And then you can see the, oh, I mean, all of this looks. See, this is the good thing so with good. this, with like the bath mat where it is fuzzy. You, it's it looks like you'll have those harsh lines, but it'll go away. And I guess that's with t-shirts. You don't have that don't fuzziness have that. to let yeah. that go away. No, 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 no. So ripping it around the edges yeah. really so helps. I just like to get the this tape off here too. Oh, um, Carol says, how about desktop size cornhole boards? Desktop size! <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fun. Yes. I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna get this other piece of tape off. Um, but yeah, both of these are super easy, guys. Like you can totally do this. Why is this not wanting to come off? That is beyond me. Um, I'll worry about it later. And then look at that. So that came off. So look at these. Both turned out absolutely amazing. We have two that, I mean, look, Lauren, look at I know. this. I mean, wow. Wow. Yep. So this was a line. Like there was, where's the edge? Where's the edge here? I mean, not. We don't have um, one. You can see a tiny line. This is good. That's, look at, that was flawless. I was very worried about this square. It really <laughs> No, it, it turned together. out great. 
the lines there. I'm trying to point out the lines so like you can find them. But even, let's see if we can find any here. Looks like there was one, one here, but very mild. I mean, both of these turned out so good. What do you guys think? What, I mean, honestly, is this something you need to do? Like, imagine this on a blanket. Imagine doing your own bath mat. I could put, you know, imagine putting some scripture on here, whatever you want. Like you mm -hmm. could do something really fun. I would also do like just a big, you know, quote, like that would be really fun. There's so many great possibilities to be able to sublimate and rock a split image. Like this is, this is the training. This is the, the hard part was the software. The fun yep. part was sublimating. The hard yep. part was software. Fun part was sublimating. You know what I mean, uh -huh. my friends? Oh my goodness. How about that? Y'all did it. We made it. That wasn't too hard at all. No. That was what, an hour and 15? We started at 2.45. A little, like a couple minutes after 2.45 and it's yeah. 3.08. So that's not bad. And we started, aside from the printing, we did everything. Uh -huh. We cut them all. I didn't, I thought I was gonna have to only teach you how to cut one and then transfer. Being ready for a live stream is sometimes hard to plan. Um, but wow, I mean, y'all, this is, incredible i just want to invite you all to do this you're going to get today's training recorded so you can re-watch this training but there's so much more i want to teach you about sublimation my friends if you love 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 this project if you love 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 the idea of sublimation say yes to make yourself sublimate so i can teach you all the things i'm going to teach you how to make your full wrap tumblers i'm going to teach you how to make amazing um designs i'm going to teach you how to use inkscape even more um, in a really great environment that you're gonna learn. You're gonna get actually an ebook. So you're gonna get the ebook that is also gonna help you learn in two ways. Watch me the first time around, watch the videos, okay? Second time around, watch it with the book. Mm -hmm. You're gonna print out the book, you can have that. And then when you're actually doing the work, you're going to remember from watching so much, but you'll have the book to give you the helpful tips and tricks too. So that is awesome. Yes. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Now guys, tomorrow at boot camp, we will be live at 9 p.m. Tomorrow night. Remember, we tomorrow are not 1.30 tomorrow. No. We are tomorrow night. 9 p.m. Eastern. Yes. 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you need to be there. Be there because we're making a pop-up card and there's butterflies, there's print and cut, there's beautiful things go happen. Yes. At, we're getting ready for spring. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I had no idea how excited I was to make something other than a Christmas project. Uh, this listen, whole week. I'm ready to switch gears. I know, me too. I love Christmas. Me too, me too. But at this point, I'm done making Courtney's Christmas Courtney's already crafts. wanting to take down our Christmas tree. Oh, I am. I, yeah, I'm there. Wow. I don't know why. Like, I was in such the Christmas spirit, and now I'm just like, meh. I'm done. You know. I feel that. I feel that. Now, our sublimation course is $70 off, y'all. When you say yes, 20 plus videos, you're getting access to our 200 plus exclusive sublimation file library that members do not get. This is exclusive to our course friends. Um, and you're getting that ebook to walk with you through your sublimation journey. We give you organized uh, supplies, 16 plus videos. I'm so sorry. Thank you. 16 plus videos, 200 plus files. It is incredible and we love it, love it, love it. Can the Cosmo ink be used on any sublimation printer? Um, Jessica, this Cosmo ink is very popular. I'm using Starcraft today. You can use, you know, pick there your was favorite. Somebody said Purple hippo. Cow. Hippo, 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 hippo. Yes, that's what I'm trying to think about. Purple cow. Purple is a cow? Fast food restaurant. <laughs> Whatever. A little love it, love it, love it. Um, so that is awesome. You all are amazing. Where can we purchase these mats? They are going to be uh, linked at our supply list. So check that out. Um, Tanner, what is the other class you talked about? The other day it has three tiers deborah is wanting information on design make sale, design make sale. let's give uh, deborah the design make sale link because that class is a hundred dollars off and i'll let you know it is the lowest it's ever been discounted since before pre-sale so when it was pre-sold that was the discount so you can get in today for a really low price if you already know how to sublimate and you're like mm, I'm, i think i want to sell sublimation stuff or cricket stuff take design make sale i'll teach you all my tips and tricks 
about having confidence, getting started selling, mastering selling, because that's a whole other world. Like it takes a very unique, like you have to show up for yourself mm -hmm. to show up with confidence. Like the confidence I have here on camera, um, being able to clearly tell you all what our offer is, being able to present myself in a way that I know my product is worth it to you to say you need it. Like that takes a lot of confidence. And there's a few secrets in there of learning your confidence, finding where you thrive at and finding what you do best. And honestly, it starts with building a solid product. So that's what I talk and teach you all how to do is make what you make best, sell it for a price you, you know, is fair and that you're still giving a lot to your customer. So I can teach you all that in Design Make Sell and so much more, but I had so much fun today. Yes. I love it. Oh, my favorite part of Design Make Sell was learning how to price my items. Yes. We, y'all, we will teach you that. That one is go at your own pace too, yes. And I also saw up in the, the same, my little homestead comment yes. earlier that she had purchased Design Make Sell maybe a couple months ago oh. and got her first big <gasps> order over Christmas and like and paid from, I think I remember seeing that love she that. basically paid for Design Make that's Sell in, from her first incredible. big order. I love, a lot of people, a lot of people say that. Like it is incredible at the breakthroughs that can happen when, I mean the program, again, y'all know my programs are priced, you know, like I value them. Like you definitely invest in yourself. But what I want to share is that that's information I, again, don't share anywhere else. Like I don't have videos on it. There's no other way to get it um, than invest in it. And it's a higher tier program. So today you can say yes to it. Regular price is $4.97 for design and sales. So our pro tier, I'm gonna give you a ton of bonuses in there too. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, but it's on sale today for $3.97. So it takes about 10 or 12 orders at like $25 an order. But a lot of people usually, you wouldn't believe it how a lot of your orders will come in big bulk orders. Like yes. I've shared that before and things like that. So yeah, you definitely, definitely want to grab sublimation, grab the year membership, grab design make sale because whichever one you don't have, they're all three on sale just to end out the year. So yay, I love it, I love it. So as long as somebody said, can you sublimate the micro suede blankets, as long as the tag says I would do at least, uh, wouldn't you suggest like 60 I was going to say 65 if I could. I said 60 to 70% yeah, yeah. polyester. 60, let's say 65 and up is the higher, The higher polyester, um, and even rayon, because rayon is a synthetic fabric, um, the higher the content and the, the lower better. the cotton, the better the sublimation yeah. is going to be. Yeah, that is awesome. Pro tier is the pro tier of design, make, sell. Oh, I bought less than two weeks ago wow. before Christmas, made my first sale within a few days and received orders right up until Christmas, $380 worth. So that is incredible. Congratulations, my friend. I love it. I love it. I love it. And y'all are awesome. So we've already talked about tomorrow. Wait, what was today's fact? Carolyn says, thanks Tanner and Lauren for today's fact. Oh. But I remember I gave it and I forgot what it was already. It was, I said, it's a fun fact. And then you say you didn't learn anything or was that yesterday? I don't remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> There's been so many comments I've been reading. I forgot. But what I was going love to say it. Go D. tomorrow, obviously you don't want to miss it. But what you really, really don't want to miss, Friday. Friday, tell your mama, tell your sister, <laughs> tell your daddy, tell your neighbor, tell everybody to be on the Makers Gonna Learn channel Friday. 7 p.m. Eastern. 7 to 10. To 10 p.m. Eastern. Because big stuff coming, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I don't think we've hopped it up enough. <laughs> I'm like, because I'm, I'm so hot myself about this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, it is going to be so good. So, yes, tomorrow's live is at 9 p.m. Eastern. Friday's live is at 7 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern. Ring in the new year with us at our New Year's Eve party. The giveaways Friday will be live. The announcement, obviously, will be live. Um, it's going to be great. So, I cannot wait. I cannot wait, wait, wait. Friday, Friday, Friday. Cannot oh, wait for yeah. Friday. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Guys, thank you so much for being part of boot camp. Say yes to Makers Gonna Sublimate. Grab whatever you need. Get into the membership. I'm gonna be continuing to welcome people. Every time I see someone that posts in the group that says, hey, I'm new, I'm literally like, welcome, 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 like trying to help out as much as possible. I do wanna let you all know, if you're a new member, we're gonna have a member orientation um, in the membership group. So we're gonna go through 
like a beginner tour with me. We're going to host it one night. So I'll send out details for that very soon as well. Um, we're super excited. So thank you, my friends. I hope you have a great day. Lauren, is there any other questions? I think that's it. Love I'm it. Well, glad to crap evening. with y'all today. Yay. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye, my Bye. friends. Bye. Okay.